everybody, how y'all doing? Um, I guess I don't know how to take a hiatus. <laughs> um, this is another one going out to teams. So, um, what I've done is watch both of your videos that were the responses about Archbishop Bazaar. And, you know, I originally said I wasn't going to watch it because if the title you know, was the content, why should I bother? Um, and you know, you call that ignorant, but I mean, you knew that the content was the title, so I don't know if you were saying that that was ignorant of me as a practice, um, which I'm not suggesting anybody else do, but um, you know, I don't see anything wrong with doing that since it, you simply restated everything. You had many reasons that you backed up, um, and you know, though they were erroneous, um, I would probably only focus on a couple of them because, I, you know, s some of them were just so far off the mark. I, I, I was really surprised um, that these were some of your opinions. Um, I'm only going to harp on two because I was a psych tech for so long um, and a little bit of medical stuff. Um, I think that you have a real you have a lack of knowledge about how hormones work and um, about intersex people and people who are hermaphrodite and um, that the way nature doesn't distinguish necessarily so cut and dry um, so that I would hope that you would get some kind of a textbook or I don't know what would help you with that um, and, and I don't think it's about studies I think it's about learning about the physiology and um, uh, the brain chemistry that goes along with that. So, about different things that you said about mental illness. I know the kind of uh, bipolar that you're talking about that's drug reactive, but there's another kind um, that's more common, and that's the one that just has to do with someone's chemistry being out of balance, which, you know, that's why they have blood tests for it, and they can test for lithium. Um, so, I wasn't sure why you said that uh, bipolar is that way. The other one is schizophrenia. Um, you had said you can't be born with it, but actually the person is. They're born with that propensity because it's a degenerative brain disease. And you're right that it doesn't show up until later, but it's inaccurate to say that um, the person isn't born with it because they are. Now, there were a bunch of comments that were collected um, by Michael who made a video and you know I guess he doesn't know you but he's getting kind of a picture of who you are from those and so did Archbishop Lazar I guess maybe just from your letter and um, some of the things I mean I don't co watch your comments so I don't know that you've said some of these things but they're out there and um, I was shocked by a lot of them. I was disgusted by some, um, irritated and upset by others. Um, you know, things that you said about murders. Um, the one that, that I really think hit home for me, though, that was very upsetting, was a comment about getting to Las Vegas first. That one... I mean, Michael characterized it in a very specific way, and because he's a man and he knows how men think, and I'm really a woman and I really don't know how men think, if that's how that sounds to another man, um, and if that is true, if that was what you were trying to say, like, it's a race into the victors go the spoils, um, you know, that's disgusting to me. Um, not just because <laughs> I know her, but just for women in general. I find that so degrading. Um, you know, one of the first comments that I actually ever responded to you was in regard to a comment that you had said about uh, men and women as far as husband and wife and, you know, that he would protect her. And I would think, and I said something to you, most young men who have never been married don't really have that as something that they know, let alone something that they practice, in the sense that um, they would give that respect that respect and honor and protectiveness towards 
any woman um, that they're not married to because it's as if to afford that um, to her um, before she's married so that when she is that uh, that's you know taken into consideration of I I mean, I'm saying in a certain way, there's certain ways that if you really believe in marriage, even when you're not married, you, you act in ways that behoove that. And I don't know if you've watched, you know, her videos or whatever, but there were times when she talked about that she was, you know, really learning, you know, what Christianity was and that she took a lot of things out of her life to make her talk, her walk. And if someone told me that, basically... You know, I would try to find ways to support that in any any way that I could. Um, and so, if that is what you meant, then does that put that in jeopardy? And I, that's why I think that that's you know like reprehensible and disgusting. If that's actually what you meant. Um, so I've got some cards because I've got I wrote a bunch of notes. I hope I can say some more. That's just directly to what you were saying. Um, okay, so in regards to Archbishop Lazar, you know, you said in a comment on my, on my video that you feel that he has mischaracterized you and that, um, you know, you had been respectful in your greeting and in your, um, you know, what's it called at the end of a letter? <laughs> your closing. Um, and, you know, you're offering some of those you know, etiquette specifics that you had offered. I think, I, I get the impression, and I obviously have never read the letter, that yes, maybe, the heading and the, and the closing were, you know, etiquette and kind and things of that nature, but the nature of the questions in between did not bear the same timber, and that that was what Archbishop Lazar was reacting to, and not in a reaction like grr, but reflecting back to you in terms of, you know, for you to ask these things in this way is denoting such and such and such and such. And um, then at the second video that you made about him at the very end, you say that you respect him. And that was great to hear. Um, and yet, you know, when I was commenting on the fact that, you know, he's an elder, uh, I didn't mean your elder and you'd said something about Judaism and I don't think you were saying anything about my heritage. I think you were saying, you know, that kind of stratification that comes from obeying that way or whatever. Um, but I, I just simply meant he's older. I'm your elder. <laughs> you know, I mean, that that's all I was saying that to someone else who is older than you, you know, you, you offer respect in the way that you ask questions um, but what you were saying in another video was that you know you were trying to pick apart his thing and you know, pick apart his um, I guess theology but I don't understand why you are because if you if you've rejected the Orthodox faith and um, if, if that would mean that you would reject him as well um, you know, wh why isn't it just all trashed to you then? If you already know that it's not for you, and if you already know that there's nothing, you know, that's not a value, um, why do you care if in a in a church that you don't think is true that some person is saying something that doesn't reflect what that is? Um, that that is confusing to me because, you know, if. <laughs> If, if I think a church is wrong, why do I care that one of their, you know, ministers or something is saying something bad? I, I don't think I've ever seen you, you know, talk about any other church or something that really much that way. Um, but I mean, I don't know the whole arc of all of your videos ever, you know. Um, and I, I know that if someone took a lot of my, you know, comments and I couldn't defend everything I've ever said or remember any of it. But um, I, I'm not sure why, um, you know, two people in particular, and even me, um, have, you know, found this 
other characterization of you. And while, you know, I have other correspondence, I'm trying to see how these actually mesh. Um, because, I mean, people are complex and, you know, you're not like one this side and that side. I mean, I don't understand how these um, are all part of you and that if there's like something about you that I just missed or something. I mean, he said that you had said that Orthodox were assholes. Like, if you really believe that, then like, why would you talk to anybody who's Orthodox ever? Um, you know, if that's really what you said, I mean, what you're saying is a joke. I, I think a lot of times you are saying things as a joke. Um, so I take it that way, even when maybe you're not. Um, and, you know, dry sense of humor at all, sarcasm included, I really don't know. Um, so, it, this was one that I thought was funny that you commented on Yusuf's tattoos. <laughs> I'd have to say of all the things about Yusuf, that that would have to be the most boring thing about him. <laughs> Why in the world would you bring that up? Okay. And the way that you did it, it seemed like you were saying, and this is the impress I got, so tell me what I'm, if I'm wrong, that by having that tattoo, that there's some sort of means by which he's expressing some sort of Gnostic belief, and that um, I, I really, I don't know. I have tattoos on me that that are symbols that, in another culture and in another time would signify a different belief than what those things mean to me. Um, tattoos mean a billion things <laughs> to a lot of people. You have tattoos, you know. Um, they have meanings for all sorts of reasons. Um, and to say that, I, I just really was surprised. You know, whenever I would watch the two of you, you know, approach a topic, it, it always seemed to me that, you know, you would, you would go back and forth and um, to whatever degree. But I always had in the back of my mind, oh, well, because they're friends, I'm sure they might write letters back and forth and come to some sort of conclusion about what this means, or they might have Skyped it or what have you. And so hoping, I was thinking that you would be coming to a place of um, respectful disagreement. And... Now, I'm kind of wondering if that never happens or something, and that you, I don't know, um, don't respect me for having those beliefs, or Yusuf, or anybody else. Um, that, that really concerns me. Um, something, though, that was really good that I was glad to hear you say was that you read the Bible every day. And that, you know, that's a real part of your life. Well, then my mind was turning on that. Well, what Bible are you reading? And I was surprised it wasn't some other, you know, scriptural religious text because I thought that there were so many parts of it that you had rejected or thought that were, you know, wrongly represented or what have you that I didn't know, you know, like, what of a Bible would you, would you want to read? Um and who's um and this was where i got like i was my mind was really turning on it okay whose bible do you read and why um and what out of it um do you accept or you know is there always a part of it where you're like okay i don't accept this little phrase of it because i know this was put there for this reason and taken from that i mean i wonder you know what of it is important to you um and if it if it is like either a Catholic Bible or Orthodox Bible or I don't even know the differences, right? And yes, I do read. I know I say that I don't read, but the only reason I say that is because I don't really feel like I read enough. Um, but I do read. If if you are, um, you know, but if you've rejected the church, why would you want to have anything to do with a Bible that they would have put together? And if you did you know, to not take the rest of it that's, you know, the information, like, it's just like in Judaism, you can't practice it without the Talmud and the Mishnah. Um, you know, and Miriamic Jews will tell you that, you know, the woman's Kabbalah, if you don't have that, you don't, you don't have a complete understanding of what's going on. You have 
bits and pieces. And to me, that seemed something akin to like taking medicine, but not knowing what the prescription really says for proper dosage or, you know, taking a medicine that's being used for an off label uh, thing that, you know, a lot of times doctors do use, use a medication for off label. Okay. They can't really do that for too long. Most of the time because somehow the side effects become more pervasive and so they have to find another medication or maybe you're killed by that anyway. It doesn't matter. But if you are taking that medicine and not really having a way to synthesize it, you don't have a way to absorb it, you don't have a way to, you know, make sense of it, um, what has it done to you um, as far as the benefit, you know? Um, so that, that was confusing to me. Um, this was something that, you know, you always wish people peace at the end of your videos. And I would really want to ask you, what does that piece mean to you? What is that piece comprised of? What is the content of that? And how does that express itself in the way that you treat people and the way that you, um, you know, just live amongst all humans? Um, because I, I do know what I mean when I'm saying peace, but I, I'm starting to wonder if you and I have a different understanding of what peace means or, um, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't make sense of that. So just thought I'd ask about that. Um, I guess that's everything. Um, and I really thank you for answering the question, you know, putting down comments because that is helpful and, um, Thanks for answering. Peace.